and we're back. <clears throat> Another one of my wonderful videos explaining what it is about the battery. So I talked about puffing of the cells earlier. What happens when the cells puff up, lipo lithium polymer cells, is that the polymer inside is starting to degrade and it's coming apart from all the silicone and the cell actually starts to create oxygen inside and then it puffs up. Well when the separation of the cell happens what you get is you know, a cell that's not working to its maximum capacity uh, it's aging so on and so forth. It creates more internal resistance which can create more heat when drawing more power but we're jet drawing a lo pretty low power here so that's not going to be so much of the issue. The issue is an old cell not having capacity that you want it to. So when you look at lipo cells, if you get them for cheap, you want to make sure they're not puffing. You can hear that's pretty solid. Um, there's, there's no puffing, there's no gas building up. This looks like it's a puff, but it's just the fact that these cells are polymer. They are flexible. If you bend them in half, they will go. You, they'll bend in half. You can bend them in a C like my hand, but they'll still they'll kind of work. But the problem is you can create, you can damage the cells and they'll explode. They're self-oxidizing and they have lithium and lithium mixed with hydrogen is it's a pretty nasty combination. So anyway one of the ways to make sure your cells are good is you test for resistance and I'm gonna do the absolute douchiest YouTube thing ever and use one hand to do something while not paying attention. So anyway I have the leads oh you have to do, ah damn it. Sorry when you test for re resistance you have to test uh, reverse on batteries, so the positive goes negative and so on and so forth. So you can see here I'm getting, because I'm charging it, I think it changed a little bit, I'm getting 1.336 million ohms. Mega ohms, I, I, sorry, I'll be absolutely honest with you, I don't know what the M stands for. <laughs> and I do all this, right? Uh, this one is 1336. Again, both batteries are showing the exact same um, resistance, which is great. That's fantastic. If I try and test the other cell, I have a little bit of piece of metal. That one is one three three six as well. I mean, I'm I'm pretty pretty stoked. Eh, testing the fourth one require me putting the phone down. But anyway, you can see the resistance is really good on these batteries. Uh, these are Tenergy batteries. They are a big name brand. Uh, did not cost more than four dollars more than the cheap batteries. So if you ever play with lipos, you really have to be careful who you buy them from because there's a lot of cheap crap out there and it's not good. So that's resistance and puffiness. <laughs> and that's me trying to hit stop and nothing happening.